Hey, Cameron here with the Sea Butters channel. Today we're taking a look at my very first custom loop water cooling on my uh, Threadripper workstation. And I kind of went crazy with uh, the fans and the setup, and I just kind of wanted to show you guys uh, what I'm doing with it here. And also, I have two fittings that will make the case not quite close in the back, so I'm going to replace those fittings today. So I'm going to show you how I drain the loop um, because uh, I, I've had a lot of questions about that and I found a few useful videos but I thought I could make a pretty easy how to drain your loop uh, video as we go through there. But first uh, let me give you a little tour of the case itself. So I didn't actually buy any new parts for this at least uh, the components themselves. Uh, sorry, the, the computing components, all of the things that are new are the case and the radiators. This is a three radiator setup. We've got one on the top and that's a Nemesis GTX, or sorry, GTS Slim Radiator 360. And then on the back, uh, there's actually a EKSE 360, and then on the bottom there's another Nemesis GTS. Now all of the fans in here that you can see are Corsair ML120s and RGB of course, as you can see, them flowing through there. We've got an EVGA um, water block and also a EK Threadripper ASROC X399 monoblock and uh, Singularity Computers radiator pump combo and all of these ended up looking really nice. Um, props to uh, <laughs> the the designers of this case because there you can see the name there I'm I would botch the pronunciation if I tried to say it but um, really really great setup here you know once you do away with needing optical drives and what I do like I still like using optical drives but what I do for my setup is I actually go to USB to the monitor and then on the side of the monitor I've got a um, little Pioneer USB deal here that can actually burn Blu-rays if I wanted it to. So that works out really nice and frees up all the space. But the cool thing about this case is it's compact, way more compact than I had with uh, my other uh, air cooling case, open, open bench air cooling case. But if you open up this little bay here, you can actually fit two full-size hard drives in there, which I do some backups with some uh, 12 terabyte drives. And that's just a perfect location for those that are out of the way. And I'm really excited about it. So anyways, I'm also using the Commander Pro to kind of get the lighting effects that you see here. But um, let me get a full stance shot on here. You can actually do pretty much whatever color you want. Now I don't have Corsair RAM, and I don't have a Corsair, the, the white water blocks are not Corsair. Uh, if I did have those, I could control them all in one software, but uh, I, you know, I didn't, I, my whole goal wasn't the whole RGB thing. In fact, when I'm not showing off the case, I'll probably have those turned down off or low so they're not distracting. Um, but you can do some pretty cool effects and I've kind of settled in on this one that works with all of the bits and pieces in my my uh, PC here, which is a white with a, kind of a pink and purple effects going off and on in there. And the temps are great and it's very quiet. I've, um, I can show you some of that later. I won't get too into deep on how I've tuned this. Maybe that's another video, but I am using EK fittings and also I'm using soft tubing and uh, the, after setting up this water cooling build, um, props to the, all those who are using hard tubing because that's actually, uh, it, it was super useful to have the soft tubing to be able to kind of shift the radiators around as I was 
putting this whole thing together and checking for leaks and deciding what fittings would go where. Uh, so that was super useful to have soft tubing. And I am just using pure distilled water with some biocide in it. Um, I didn't want to mess around with dyes, although that would look really cool. Um, I've just heard too many horror stories and I, you know, once a year uh, maintenance on the water is all I'm looking to actually spend on the, on this. So um, I've also included a drain you can see here off of the reservoir and we'll get into that when we do some of the uh, draining of the loop in just a little bit here. Um, let me go ahead and flip around the back of this case. It's still open on the back and I'll show you where I'm needing to fix. So I've got these two 90 degree fittings off of the rear radiator that just protrude just barely too much. I don't know if you can see that too well in the video there, but they're protruding just enough that I can't close the case. And I still need to clean up a few little things on the back in terms of cable management. I still have the RGB and the Commander Pro resting on the PSU. Um, I'm gonna strap that down and get that cleaned up as soon as I can close the back of the case and I was still testing. So um, I still have to run some SATA cables up to the rear hard drives. But uh, once I get that all closed up, it'll be nice and neat. And I am super happy with the way that it turned out. Um, it just looks great and it actually saves space on my desk despite being, you know, all the fittings and copper and everything. So it's a great case and I'm pretty happy with it.